Hey, I'm going to show you how you can use an Android phone as a sort of handheld interface for an Arduino project. Now, if you want to get information from an Arduino project, if you want to send it information, essentially commands, um, then you have a couple options. One is you can add some kind of display to the Arduino, maybe an LED uh, display or OLED or something like that. You can add buttons. Uh, so that's a way to do it through hardware. Um, but if you want to keep things simple and use less parts, you could also use serial communication. So connect it to your computer and then through the USB connection, you'd be able to use the Arduino serial monitor. And in this case, you can see that my example is sending the message ready when, uh, when it connects to the computer. And then it tells us the state of the LED. And that's what my example is doing It's basically, uh, just if I send it a zero, it will turn the LED off. Um, it doesn't do anything if the state has not changed. So uh, if I change to state one, it'll turn the LED on. If I ch change it back to zero, it'll turn it off again. And if I change it to two, it'll start the LED blinking. So that's my whole program. I'll send you the uh, code. It, I'll, I'll link it in the description. I'll add some comments before I do that. And uh, you can see it's pretty simple. It, allow, it does send some information back, which is just the state essentially, and it allows you to send commands to it. So how can we do essentially the same thing, but not have to be tethered to the computer, or make it something that's more portable or uh, something that's already in your pocket. So that's where the Android phone comes in. Now you can totally make an Android application yourself that communicates through serial and has a custom uh, interface. Um, but again, that's a, that's that's a larger project. So just like adding more hardware to your project, maybe that's overhead that you don't want to deal with. You just want to have this do something. So we can use this app called uh, Serial USB Terminal, and it'll essentially act just like the Arduino uh, Serial Terminal, but it has a couple of features that make it maybe a little uh, more useful, and definitely the fact that it's on your phone is useful already. So the first step is you have to get for your Android phone an OTG cable. These only cost a few bucks. If you own an Android phone, you have to have one of these. It basically allows you to connect any USB device to your phone. So it could be a keyboard or a mouse, a joystick, or in this case, the Arduino. Now to be able to use the serial USB terminal, you may or may not have to do this. I had to on my phone. Uh, I went into the settings for my phone and chose system. And then you can go to advanced on the bottom. And what you'll normally see here is the build version. You tap on the build version a bunch of times and it'll let you become an, a developer. And then you get this option for developer options. If you go into developer options, you can see on my phone it's already enabled. And if you jump down to uh, USB debugging, you can turn this on. And that allows you more access for your phone to the USB port. Like I said, you may not have to do that. Now in Serial USB Terminal, uh, I'll show you some of the features that'll be handy for um, my example. It doesn't, I'm, I'm not going to be able to show you it connected to the Arduino because it's connected to, my phone's connected to my computer right now. That's how I'm recording the screen. So um, this button allows you to connect to the Arduino. So if you plug the Arduino in, you'll get a pop-up message probably asking you if it's okay to use that USB device. That's coming from the OS. And then you, you'll be able to click this connect button and they'll be connected. You'll see that same ready message that I saw, uh, that you saw on the serial terminal in Arduino because that's what my Arduino sketch sends as soon as it connects. Some settings that'll be handy to change in USB terminal. If you go up here to uh, settings, you'll see serial as the first one. We definitely need to change the baud rate to match what we put in the Arduino sketch. 9600 is a safe bet. Under terminal, you've got different options about font size and so on. Um, one of the things that's useful to turn off is show timestamps. Uh, it just kind of gets in the way. And uh, receive, we shouldn't need to change anything. Send, uh, we don't need to show the local echo. So every time you press a command like one, two, or zero, you don't necessarily need to see that on the screen. So you could turn that off. And then finally under miscellaneous macro buttons is kind of handy. So you can turn on one row of buttons and we'll see how that works in a second. So instead of uh, having to type zero, one, or two, and then hitting the send button, it would be nice if I could use these macro buttons on the bottom. So I'll hold down M1 and I'll change this to 
LED off. And that value is zero. Now I want to send it as text, not as hex or multi-line. And what it should do is just send it right away, not insert it into the kind of a longer message. So I'll hit uh, OK there, and then I'll do the same here. I'll set this one to LED uh, on. That message should be one, same settings, and then the last one will be LED blank. And that's a two. So that's it. When I connect the Arduino now, it'll ask me if I'm okay to talk to this USB device. I'll click the connect button and then I can use these three buttons to control it. And that's about it. I hope that helps you with whatever project you're working on. Good luck.